Do you know it's possible to lose weight without having to exercise? Yes, it is. And all you have to do is do these three easy things regularly. One, get into a calorie deficit. If the thought of exercise makes you cringe, you can actually create a calorie deficit with your diet and calorie intake alone. You can do this by reducing the amount of food that you eat. Let's be honest, sometimes we tend to eat way too much and by cutting down on snacks and excessive calories, you'll be able to focus on eating nutritious foods. Your goal should be to eat high volume foods that will help fuel you up while eating less calories. Remember diet comes first when it comes to weight loss, so don't neglect it. This brings me to my next point. Two, eat all healthy foods. Eating all foods means you've eliminated what most people eat, which is highly processed foods that's high in calories and lacking essential nutrients. All foods are foods that will help boost your metabolism and keep you full and energized throughout the day. I'm talking about foods like fruits and vegetables that are high in water that will help you properly hydrate your body and animal protein foods like salmon, eggs, beef, chicken breast, seafood, and also all grain foods like potato, oats, brown rice, lentils, chickpeas, and so on. Eating like this will help you increase your protein intake, which in turn will boost your metabolism and you'll burn more calories. And notice I didn't mention foods like pizza, cake, pastries, and even alcohol. Try to limit or avoid these foods entirely. Listen, I'm not telling you what to eat. I'm just giving you some options. That's all. Make up your own mind in terms of what to eat. Eat what you can eat and leave out what you don't like out of the list I've just mentioned. Number three, sleeping more will help you lose weight without exercise. Yes, this is probably the easiest act for dropping body fat, yet most people still ignore it. A study by the National Library of Medicine discovered that people who sleep less had reduced leptin and elevated ghrelin hormone, which led to increased appetite and body mass index and contributed to obesity. And this actually makes perfect sense because sometimes when I don't get enough sleep, I tend to get cranky and eat more food, which lead to me gaining weight. Is this the same for you too? I would love to know. Tell me in the comments below. Now, these three strategies are not for everyone because we all have different starting points and we have different body types, but whatever your weight loss plan is, adding these three will definitely help you. I am Ola from fitnessfoodrecipes.co.uk. Follow me on TikTok or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.